Sergio Rola, one of the new generation of Spanish chefs leading the charge. Marchan dos, primera, segunda, tercera, sí, en dos medios platillos, dos medias luminas, dos medios pichones, dos arroces. The decor in his restaurant kitchen gives a hint of the food to come. Dramatic colors, contrasts, clean lines. Here's the goat's cheese ice cream. Tiny portions, intense flavors, radical combinations. Foams and infusions. It's almost like eating flavored air. Vamos. This new cooking has made a handful of Spanish chefs famous around the globe. In the world of food, it's as big as the Nouvelle Cuisine Revolution 30 years ago. I'm very, very proud because uh, uh, the last uh, 15 years I, I've been a part of, of this movement and, and I'm really, really proud. I'm really, really proud. For me, it's, it's, a, it's a part of, uh, it's like a dream. It's a staggering amount of effort, constant invention, innovation, under enormous pressure. My wife, my boss. <laughs> Creating this sort of food is a permanent high wire act. Tenemos que poner algún trozo más de de pan, cinco. The food of Sergio Rola and other Spanish chefs has gastronomes struggling for new metaphors. Spanish food writer Julia Perez Lozano. Bueno, pues realmente lo que ha sucedido en España ha sido una revolución. Una revolución que viene de una trayectoria antigua, porque la cocina española tiene una base regional potentísima con una diversidad de alimentos tremenda y muchas cocinas regionales en las que las cosas se hacen de maneras diferentes. The food revolutionaries, though, haven't yet stormed the kitchens of this famous restaurant, nor many others. At Casa Lucio, it's all smoke and fire. Casa Lucio, like its owner, Lucio Blazquez, is a Madrid institution. It's the very heart and soul of traditional Spanish restaurant food, and very, very good as well. This is the restaurant's signature dish, huevos estrellados, literally broken eggs over chips. There's a queue for it every lunchtime. Lucio Blazquez was signing autographs for customers decades before the term celebrity chef was coined. No goat's cheese ice cream or vegetable infusions here. Pues creo que no. Creo que no. Creo que mi estilo no lo voy a cambiar nunca. Para mí el queso será el queso y los aires de la verdura serán los aires que den la verdura. The Spanish say of themselves that they do everything over food. Laugh, love, argue, fight. So, is there any tension between Spain's food modernists and the traditionalists? Julia Perez Lozano says yes. Entonces en España ahora mismo hay un debate y hay un debate importante entre lo que es la cocina de vanguardia y lo que es la cocina tradicional. Yo pienso que es un debate un poco absurdo porque realmente esas dos cocinas tienen espacio, es decir, una no quita la otra. If there is a struggle between the modern and traditional, then the winners are the Spanish, who get to eat fabulous food across the spectrum. Y España, pues sí, ha tenido eso, ¿no? 
tipo bajito, eh, compacto, torero, que come paella y bebe sangría. ¿no? Yo, yo creo que esos tópicos están bien. Pero también es cierto que hay una España tremendamente moderna, hay una España muy activa, hay una España muy trabajadora. <risa> It's true that Casa Lucio evokes a sense of the past, but good food is never out of fashion. Yo me creo que hay que luchar a muerte por conservar esta tradición, porque cuando se demuestra que todo el mundo le gusta, que todo el mundo quiere verlo, que todo el mundo quiere comerlo y que todo el mundo quiere repetir, demuestra que estoy trabajando con la verdad. A little goat's cheese ice cream with your garlic prawns then? <laughs>